Hello everyone. As I said last week, the Omer Presbytery put together a service for congregations to use led by the moderator of Presbytery and with the Reverend Rob Craig as our guest preacher. In the light of that, the Kirk Session felt that we should use it and that it was an opportunity for myself and the technical team to have a Sunday off. I'd like to thank uh, Edwin Wilson, who has had the responsibility for uploading this pre-recorded service onto our YouTube channel. Now, we've run into one or two problems. Andrew Rainey recorded a children's talk for inclusion in the service, but unfortunately, due to YouTube regulations, we cannot insert this talk or these announcements of mine into the existing service or our own YouTube channel could be shut down. So Andrew's talk is on our Facebook page and on our church website, and we would strongly encourage and urge children and parents to watch it there. These announcements are also on, on the Facebook and website. The congregational readings this week will be sent out as usual by email, and although they're not based on a sermon on the Gospel of John, I've decided that in this week running up to Easter that they will focus on the story of the crucifixion as told in the Gospel of Matthew. And with regard to our service next Sunday, Easter Sunday morning, I am, of course, delighted to remind you that we will be able to have the service in our church building. Now, I have to tell you that all seats in the church and porch are now booked, but we can accommodate up to 20 more people in the Riverview room and those spaces are still free. We've improved the quality of the picture and sound relayed to the Riverview room. So to book your seat there, contact Kate Doherty by text or email. And if you don't have Kate's details, contact details, get in touch with me. I look forward to seeing many of you in person once again next Sunday morning to worship the risen Lord. Now, finally, a word about finances. I don't like mentioning finances, but it is necessary. If you are a contributing member and you have envelopes, then we really, really do need you to maintain your regular giving. Almost all expenses in connection with church continue as normal during lockdown. The only things that we find a reduction on are heat and light of the premises and printing costs. The shop is closed and there is no income from the hire of halls. So we are entirely dependent on congregational giving and that's why it needs to be maintained on a regular basis. So please contact me for online banking details or send your envelopes to the church office and a sincere word of thanks to all who have maintained their giving. Now, if you're getting to these announcements first before you watch the presbytery service then i encourage you to go now to the presbytery service to then watch andrew's talk on our facebook page and youtube channel and let us worship god together on this lord's day <laughs> 